New this morning, there are more signs August's Republican National Convention may soon officially come to Jacksonville. Washington Post reporting GOP party leaders have tentatively chosen the River City as the new destination for the premier events of the RNC. Of course, Jim Pickett reported it last week. And the latest is according to three Republican officials who briefed the Post on the plans. This adds another layer of certainty to what reporter, uh, News for Jack reporter Jim Pickett reported, as I said last week. It's not a done deal yet. Hotel, hotel availability could still hold up these plans. News for Jack's reporter Lena Pringles live along the South Bank. And Lena, there are some science people are preparing for convention here. Mm -hmm. Uh, good morning, Bruce. This convention could bring more than 50,000 people to the River City this August. And the RNC is reportedly scrambling to make sure Jacksonville has enough hotel rooms to even be able to host this event. Officials were here on Monday to check for this as well as look around the city. The head of Visit Jacksonville believes the city could handle that many people. According to our count, Duval County has 18,000 hotel rooms. We've been keeping an eye on hotel bookings online. We found no available rooms at the Omni or the Hyatt Regency the week of the RNC. The event runs from August 24th to the 27th. That same week, we're seeing prices double from so for some hotels here on the South Bank. Looking back at the RNC in Cleveland, back in 2016, hotels downtown were completely sold out during the convention. Rooms were reserved for prominent politicians and their staff, media companies, entertainers, and state governments. Hotels on the outskirts of the city had to be used for the overflow, and convention goers had to book their hotel accommodations well in advance. Governor Ron DeSantis has said previously that Orlando and Miami could be possible ideal locations because of the amount of hotel rooms. There is no official decision at this time, but when one does get made, we will continue to keep you updated on air and online. For now, live at the South Bank, Lena Pringle, Channel 4, The Local Station.